Hello guys, on today's tutorial we are going to learn how to use the PIR motion sensor. To do the demonstration we are going to need a PR sensor, an Arduino Uno, a LED, a speaker, resistors and jumper wires. To get more information visit our social web at garagelab.com. To buy one of our products go to garagelabstore.com slash store. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is the PIR sensor. If you want to automate a process like lighting a lamp or open a door, to know if someone is coming, or even for security issues, this sensor is a cheap and easy alternative to do all this process. It operates from 5 to 12 volts DC. This sensor is sensitive to infrared light or heat. Basically, it takes heat images on two different sensors at different times. When they differ, they know something has changed. On this example, you can see that the sensor is triggered on low logic level, 0 volts. The signal pin of the sensor works with a open collector logic, that is, it's not connected to anything, and so you cannot know the output level. Because of this, you have to connect a pull-up resistor to make sure that when there isn't movement, the logic level of the output is high, 5 volts. Here you can see the schematic way of connect your pull-up resistor. Notice that in this sensor, the black wire is not the ground, so do not connect the black wire to the ground as you may be used to. The circuit won't work and you can cause damage to your sensor. So guys, we have assembled here the system for a demonstration. This system is very easy to reproduce, but if you need more information, visit this tutorial at our social web. There, you will find more detailed information. The idea of this project is to generate three outputs. The first one is a sound, it's a melody played by the speaker. The second one is the LED turning on. And the third one are the words motion detected printed at the serial monitor. I have to remind you that the black wire here is not the ground. In fact, it is the signal wire, so do not connect this wire to the ground. Now we will run the software and see what happens. I will open the serial monitor in order to see the response. And now I will generate movement in order to see the behavior of the system. As you can see, the three outputs work at the same time. Now I will show you a command that I left commented. The idea of this command is to show you the digital logic value of the sensor. I will open the serial monitor. And now you can see the logic level 1 showing up at the screen. There is high logic level. After movement, logic level goes to 0 and motion detected is printed. The idea here is to let this command commented. I just did this to show you the logic of the sensor. Okay. 
So guys, that's it. This sensor is very easy to work with. We have done three outputs in order to you visualize how can you adapt it to your project. Let's turn briefly to our sketch. We begin by declaring the global variables. We've created three. All of them are integer. The first one, pure pin addressed to the pin2, is the variable responsible for receive the digital signal from the sensor. The two other global variables are the LED and the speaker. In the void setup, we define the variables as input or output. We just have pure pin as an input. Now, let's look at our loop. We begin our loop with the command digital read, pure pin, in order to read the digital value from the sensor. After read this value, we will store it at our local variable we've created here, pure val. After do this, we go to serial.println. This command will print for us at the serial monitor the values from the sensor, as we have seen in our demonstration. Now, we go to the command serial.println, and inside of quotes, we put the words motion detected. This command will print for us these words at the serial monitor, as we have seen. After do this, we will blink the LED once, and the LED will be high during the motion detection process. Finally, we play the sound with the command tone, where the first number is the ping, the second is the frequency, and the third number is the sound duration. Notice that we repeat this command several times in order to create a pleasant sound, a melody. After do this, we go to else to turn off the LED after the detection process. And we do a delay of two seconds in order to provide enough time to the sensor work properly. So guys, that's it. I hope you have enjoyed. See you again right here on Garage Lab. See you.